Staff and students, welcome to Celebration Day 2020. Normally, we would gather in an assembly today to acknowledge all of our accomplishments at Lakes Community High School and to recognize the class of 2020. Because of these difficult and changing times, we'll be presenting this as a slideshow. The current stay-at-home order makes this celebration of our students that much more important. Celebration Day is a time for all at Lakes to reflect on this year's successes and to thank the class of 2020 for their leadership and the legacy that they will leave behind. I personally want to thank the class of 2020 for promoting a positive school environment for all of us this year. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night, and our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land. The following two students were voted on by the staff and the senior class for their character and consistent demonstration of respect plus courtesy equals pride. I am very proud to announce our two senior outstanding Eagles, Brianna Zahn and Maddie Kranz. Brianna and Maddie will be our masters of ceremony for the rest of the program, so I will hand the mic off to them. We would both like to thank the staff of Lakes Community High School for this nomination. It is truly an honor, and we are so excited to lead everyone through the rest of the ceremony. In order to graduate with cum laude distinction, students must meet criteria in a wide array of areas, including academic classes, consistent attendance, extracurricular involvement, community service, and appropriate conduct. Students must have a cumulative 3.5 GPA or higher, be at least a second semester sophomore to apply, and must uphold National Honor Society pillars of scholarship, service, leadership, and character. To qualify, students must perform in the top one half of your high school class and score at or above the 95th percentile on the ACT or SAT. It is now time to show the seniors post-graduation plans. This video will highlight each senior and show their plans after high school. The video will be played in three different parts during the program today.
The Tri-M Music Honor Society is the international music honor society that recognizes and rewards students for their academic and musical achievements and leadership. Students are accepted to each school's chapter through a site-based application and audition process that looks at accomplishment, participation, leadership, service, and academic prowess. The International Thespian Society honors students who excel in all areas of theater, including stage crew, costume design, lighting tech, actors, playwrights, and directors. The students are accepted based on leadership in theater, excellence in collaboration, a strong academic record, and modeling the Eagle Way. The National Art Society honors students who excel in the visual arts. Students are accepted based on character in representing the visual arts, a strong academic record, and modeling the Eagle Way. Spanish Honor Society students have been recognized by the American Association of Teachers of Spanish and Portuguese for their excellence in Spanish language study. These students have all achieved a grade of A- or higher in Spanish for at least three consecutive semesters of study throughout their high school career. Delta Epsilon Phi, the National Honor Society for High School Students of German, recognizes the outstanding academic achievement of learners of German. These students have achieved a grade of an A- or higher for three consecutive semesters of Honors German. The following students are recognized by the State of Illinois for being biliterate or having demonstrated significant progress towards becoming biliterate, meaning they can speak, read, or write in two languages. Let's take a break and look at the future plans of a few more seniors.
Students must be current juniors or seniors with a 4.0 or better cumulative math course GPA to receive this honor. Students must have done superior work in some phase of journalism or school media work and have the equivalent of a B grade average or be in the upper third of their class in general scholastic standing to receive this honor. We will now take some time to recognize some individuals for their efforts. Each year, Student Council has potential graduation speakers audition in front of a group of staff and students. This year, Damian Garcia and Jennifer McMahon were selected to be your graduation speakers. Each year, the senior class votes on a faculty member to speak at graduation as well. This year's faculty speaker is Ms. Ann Eichmann. Each year, two students from Lakes are asked to join the school board at their monthly meeting. This year, Mr. Newberry would like to recognize and thank Maya Dewey and Ben Newsom for representing Lakes very well at these meetings. Now, before we announce this year's athletics awards, a few words from our athletic director, Mr. Rowles. Class of 2020, your impact on Lakes Community High School will never be forgotten. This group of seniors has been part of some amazing accomplishments over the last four years. Though the circumstances did not allow our spring sports to compete this year, it does not take away from the lasting impact all of you have left on the Lakes Athletic Department. Your passion, drive, and determination are examples for all to follow. Our Eagle Scholar Athlete Award winners. Tyler Gunther. Alan Knopf, Olivia Schmidt, This year's most outstanding senior athletes, Curtis Smith. Down below, maybe them cold night, I was sleeping on the floor. All you dream about the 4G, I don't feed, now they down below. Olivia Schmidt. Got so much money on me, I can't count no more. To be recognized as a 12-sport athlete, you need to participate in three sports for all four years. Please congratulate Chance and Belle. The Royal Rush leadership, which includes Michaela Bristol, Abby Finley, Emerson Janeka, Maddie Mullen, Noelia Padilla, and Michael Palateri, would like to thank all of our fellow students for helping us continue to encourage and support all activities and events each day at Lakes throughout this past school year. Congrats to the class 2021 Royal Rush, they're going to do great. Good luck next year and make sure you make the most of the time you have. Shout out to all the sports this year, you guys did great and thanks for making it a fun year. Sorry to all the spring sports that didn't get your season, we were really looking forward to cheering you on. And to those seniors, sorry that our few last months got taken away. We had a great year, many great memories together and I hope you guys can say the same and I hope you know you guys have a great future and you know just kill it. Next Sunday, we got virtual graduation at 5 p.m. and we hope to see you all in July at our in-person graduation and our prom. Signing off for the last time. Good, Good luck, luck Eagles! Eagles. Before we move on, let's look at the last group of seniors and their plans after high school. 
A huge thank you to Lake Student Media for creating the senior post-graduation plans videos.
At this time, we would like to recognize and thank all seniors who are planning on joining the military. We have one longtime employee that will be retiring this year. Please congratulate special education teacher Kelly Kelleher. We hope you will always have a place in your heart for Lakes, as Lakes will always have a place in its heart for you. Now it is time to announce the Department Students of the Year. First, we have Career and Technical Education, presented by Mr. Snyder, Ms. Harrington, and Mr. Cardarella. For Business and Computer Education, Peter Wolanek. Congrats, Peter, on winning Student of the Year in the CT Department for Business and Technology. I'm proud of you, and I've definitely enjoyed getting to know you over the years from your different courses, from Intro to Business, Multimedia Design, and then this past year, Tech Support Internship. You're, you're a student that's always shown initiative and a desire to do his best at all times, which is, I think, it was a no-brainer to give you this award. So congratulations, very proud of you, and I wish you luck in the future. For Family and Consumer Science, Amanda Parson. The Family and Consumer Science Department is proud to have chosen Amanda Parson as our Outstanding Senior of the Year. Throughout her four years at Lakes Community High School, Amanda has taken nearly every single class in our department, such as Introduction, Creative, and Specialty Foods, Introduction and Advanced Preschool, Food and Fitness, and Introduction to Apparel. In all these classes, she worked incredibly hard and earned an A in every single class. Outside the classroom, she continued to develop her skills by participating and competing in FCCLA, as well as being a cupcake decorator on our Foods Class Disney trip in 2018. Amanda is not only a hardworking student, but she's a kind and sincere person. She lifts up her classmates and motivates them, and makes them feel as though they matter and are important. We are lucky to have had her in so many classes and are proud to call her our Outstanding Senior of the Year. For Technology Education, Robert Roney. Hello Eagles, hope you're all doing well. I would like to nominate Robert Roney for the Technology Education Senior of the Year. Robert took and got an A in Woods, Woods Advanced, CAD, and Small Engines in his time here at Lakes High School. Furthermore, Robert always came into class with a smile on his face and ready to learn. So Robert, here's to wishing you the best moving forward and go Eagles. Now we have the English Student of the Year presented by Mrs. Edwards. The English Department Student of the Year is Megan Bigalski. Megan yokes an extraordinary work ethic and passion for the subject uh, to her natural talent, allowing her to create outstanding pieces in prose, poetry, and screenplay formats. No matter the format or length of the piece, Megan's work demonstrates the ability to break open and explore complex facets of human existence. Legendary singer-songwriter Jackson Brown always prefaces performances of his insightful, devastating song, These Days, with the astonishing fact that he wrote the song when he was only 16 years old. It is not hard to imagine Megan as an heir to this sort of preternatural insight into the joys and sorrows of life, the joys and sorrows that must form the genetic material of all great art. Hi, Mrs. Morley here. I'm here to read a little thing I wrote about the amazing Megan. Um, she's an English rock star. She takes every English class ever, and she's a wonderful person. Megan, um, this is what I have for you. Nice things about Megan, the English rock star. Megan started her first semester of English composition as a talented writer. At her first conference about her writing, she was stuck on a topic for the college essay. After getting to know her, we found her story, and I encouraged her to use contrasting imagery in her writing. Megan's story was about finding her voice and leading the creative writing club. It was written so beautifully. When we moved on to research writing, Megan made the switch without losing elements of creative writing she showcased throughout our narrative unit. Reading Megan's work was always a delight, as she not only applies every lesson about writing from the many English courses she takes to her work, but she infuses her drafts with metaphoric language and impeccably chosen research. The way she weaves elements of creative writing with academic writing is beautiful, 
but what is more beautiful about Megan is her willingness to push herself. She is coachable and admires the advice of her teachers and peers. Megan also takes every revision opportunity, not for more points, but because she wants to perfect her craft. While taking English composition, Meg was also taking creative writing and leading the creative writing club. And the way she transferred the skills she learned from those experiences with the lessons from composition on research writing made her work really special to read. Megan also brought the level of discussion in class to new heights with her ability to reference meaningful passages from professional writing samples and her ability to highlight writing techniques that could be applied to whatever class was drafting. She also chose important topics to research and discuss in her writing. Thank you, Megan, for being so amazing. I'm so proud of you and you really deserve this award. Thank you. Megan is the kind of student that all teachers hope to have in class. She's kind, thoughtful, hardworking, encouraging, thorough, and has a desire to learn that supersedes most class expectations. Megan goes beyond what is required of her purely out of her desire to know, to learn, and to grow. She comes to class prepared to question the text, test out theories, and to discuss literature with the depth that makes the bibliophile in me want to pull a chair closer and talk to her some more. Megan's intellectual curiosity extended to creating even a complex playlist of 50 songs from 50 different languages for our world literature class. She even challenged herself to find songs from the last 10 years. Megan's love for literature and her enthusiasm to learn is what makes Megan the English Department Student of the Year. We look forward to seeing all the wonderful things that Megan will accomplish. Thank you, Megan, for the pleasure of having you in our classes. Congratulations, this honor is well-deserved. Next up, we have Fine Arts presented by Mr. Castor. For Performing Arts, Josiah Jackson, and for Visual Arts, Ashlyn Bledsoe. Greetings all, and thank you for joining us as we come together to honor the class of 2020. My name is Matthew Castor, and I am honored to be here to represent the Fine Arts Department and to talk to you about our Student of the Year. This year's Student of the Year has taken classes across the whole department, including classes in Art 2D, Stagecraft, concert choir, percussion ensemble, and music theory AP. Extracurricularly, this particular student has been involved in a wide variety of musical opportunities, including jazz ensemble, marching band, the pit orchestra for our musicals, and a few years ago, he even made an appearance in men's choir. In jazz, he has also been known to help out with Jazz Lab as that is the ensemble where we have many of our underclassmen training and striving to be just as accomplished as this particular student has proven to be in his time here at Lakes. So to pass that on to other students is another great quality that we've seen in this young man. While taking many classes in our department, he has also been honored outside of the department and has become one of the most decorated students we've had here as a musician. He is a two-time All-Stater. Not only is that impressive in its own right, but he also made All-State twice in different ensembles on different instruments. That has never happened before here at Lakes Community High School. Additionally, he was selected to be the accompanist for the All-State musical, Aida, which was performed at the Illinois Theater, at the Illinois Theater Festival this past January. And here at home, he has been a proven leader as a section leader within the percussion section. That's what all of you see and all of our community sees. What I see in class, in percussion class, is a student who is a driven perfectionist, an immensely talented musician, and one that always is looking for a way to be better at what he does. As a perfectionist, it was challenging for him to work with others in the school, us 
mere mortals, so to speak, that while we always strive for that level, we may not even be able to reach the levels that he is able to do. So he and I work together quite a bit to help grow a mindset of how can I take my talents and help others around me, even if they don't reach the height that I am, to see how I pr uh, process these things and work on these things, and then help others have the same type of process. That's what it's all about. And that is what I hope that this young man hoped to enjoy, was the process and how it informs the product. I also hope that he will be able to carry this on as he goes to his next stage in life, which is to be part of the Army Musicians Track, an elite group of musicians who help serve the Army and our country through their amazing talents and hunger for great music. So, Josiah Keith Jackson, as you head on in your life and do great things with your music, remember the little people along the way who helped you out. And remember that no matter where you go in life and all the great things that I know you're going to do, the first thing that got you started was the notion that respect and courtesy equals pride. And if you keep that in your back pocket as you do all the wonderful things you'll do musically and in the arts, you will soar to new heights. All the best to you, Josiah, and thanks for working with us here at Lakes. And please make sure that you stop by and keep us posted with your success after Lakes. Take care, everyone. All the best. Hello, I'm Kevin Shifley. I'm one of the art teachers at Lakes High School. And I am honored to celebrate Ashton Bledsoe as this year's Visual Arts Department Student of the Year. Uh, Ashlyn is one of uh, Lakes High School's most treasured students. Uh, she was a four-year art student. Um, she's in our AP program. She has, uh, as, a, as a junior, she had an artwork that was selected for our permanent art gallery at the building. So her artwork is on the wall uh, and immortalized for all to enjoy for years to come. Uh, she's a member of our National Art Honor Society uh, and is, as well as our art club. In both cases, she's a, a tremendous leader for her peers, uh, inspiring others and her teachers uh, all the time. She has a very positive attitude. Uh, and um, in addition to being an artist, she's also uh, competed on the varsity level for both basketball and what would have been soccer this year. Um, and those traits and those interests uh, make her a very well-rounded student and human being and it's no wonder that she received a uh, significant scholarship to the Milwaukee Institute of Art and Design where she will continue her art studies next fall. Uh, we're very excited um, to have Ashlyn uh, as a representative of the visual arts and as well as the Lakes community and we look forward to seeing all the things that she contributes to the world uh, moving forward in her in her career. So thank you so much, Ashlyn, and um, we wish you the best of luck. Now we have the Mathematics Student of the Year, presented by Mrs. Ecker. The Mathematics Student of the Year is Lucas Swidler. Lucas, congratulations on being the Math Department Senior of the Year. You had two years of computer science with me, and I was always really impressed with your abilities. Your project in CSP was one of the best I've seen in the years I've been teaching it, and I show it every year to um, new students as an example of something awesome that they can do. And I even learned a lot from what you did on that project, so that was really cool. Um, you have great abilities to persevere and work independently and do amazing things. One of the things I respect most about you is that you never do anything just to do it and get it done. You always give everything 100% and um, that's it's really awesome to see. Um, also, I had you on academic team and it was really cool to see. I know you always do really well in math and in computer science, but your knowledge is far more vast than just that and you, you just retain so much information. It's always really impressed me. So again, congratulations, Lucas. And I'm gonna pass it over to Ms. Sherisol. Lucas, again, I'm going to reiterate what Mrs. Olson said. Uh, it was a pleasure to have you in Math Three Honors and AP Calc BC. Um, it was amazing to see your growth from 
of freshman year to junior year, just seeing you come out of your shell, uh, more confident, working more with your peers, collaborating, and then having success in AP Calc BC, which is a really tough course, persevering through, never complaining once about how difficult the content was. So that was amazing. Also, uh, it was awesome to have you on Matt team all four years. Uh, on your junior year, you made it to state uh, as a two, on the two-person team, so that was really awesome. Uh, and thank you for being part of it for all four years, as I think it made our team much better having you on it. Uh, I'm going to pass it to Mr. Phelan now. All right, thank you. So uh, first of all, congratulations. This is a great honor. Uh, it's been really enjoyable having you in stats class. Math you're, you're going to use down the road along with the other two courses from the other two teachers that are there talking about you. you you're, you're the best of the best. And we just wish you all the, the best uh, here moving forward when, when you get to the, the next chapter of your life. So congratulations on a great and honorable honor. Congratulations, Lucas. Congratulations, Lucas. Congrats. Next is Physical Education, Driver's Ed, and Health Ed presented by Mr. Ring. Please put your hands together for Olivia Huber. I have the honor of presenting Olivia Huber with the PE Student of the Year Award. Olivia has worked very hard in class for the past couple years um, to achieve her goals. And she works from the moment class begins to the moment class ends. She does not waste any time. She stays very focused, so focused that other girls will ask, how do I get to stay as focused as she is? How does she do it? Um, she thrives on challenges. And this year, before the school year let out, she was sitting in first place out of 120 girls in the Lake Skip Games competition. Um, she does not cut any corners. She is a perfectionist and she leads by example. Um, other girls are drawn to her because of that, and she took some new lifters under her wing this year and taught them lifting form, and that really helped to build their self-esteem and endurance, and it really helped shape the culture of the class. So thank you for your hard work, Olivia, over the past couple of years, and we're going to miss you next year. And now we have the Science Student of the Year, presented by Mrs. Leah Rocos. The Science Student of the Year is Maddie Kranz. Congrats. Congratulations. Congratulations. Hi, Maddie. Uh, Mr. Barbara here. I am proud to be the first one from the science department. Uh, and I'm super excited to congratulate you on being science uh, student of the year. So congratulations. In addition to being science student of the year, I want to thank you for being such an awesome peer tutor this year and last year. Thanks for your willingness for always taking on new two T's and for your positive attitude and communication. Congratulations and good luck next year. Yeah, Maddie, uh, I'm super proud of you. Um, I've heard so much about you from my coworkers, and I just want to say that I'm incredibly jealous that I never got to teach you. Uh, so congrats again, Maddie. Maddie, thank you so much for all the help from uh, the chemistry team and everything you've done for the science department. Again, just wanted to say congratulations. Congratulations, Maddie. Thank you for everything that you contribute to our science department in the classroom and outside the classroom. And I wanted to say thank you as well. Not only have you been helpful in the science department, but also through student council. You've shown us so much great leadership and you've really supported everyone this whole year and throughout your whole career with us. So I wanted to say thank you on that end as well. Congratulations. Hi, Maddie, this is Mr. Newton, as you can see. Um, I just want to thank you uh, for being such a great student. And I know you missed those bright and early 7 a.m. AP bio classes but I'm sure you'll get by without it. Congratulations. Hi, Maddie, congratulations. Um, seems like just yesterday you were a freshman in my class and it always amazes me just how fast things grow and, um, or how fast things go and, and wow, you're senior and off to better and bigger things. Hey Maddie, um, I really enjoyed having you in class sophomore year when uh, Ms. Cheek was on maternity leave. Um, you were a fantastic student, um, really diligent, um, picked things up really quickly. I know you're gonna be really successful in the future. Um, I also remember meeting you um, when I was a new teacher and you did a 
um, kind of a student panel for the new teachers and I remember being really impressed with you then um, between your freshman and sophomore year and um, I've really enjoyed watching you grow and watching your leadership um, so I'm not surprised at all that um, as a science department we've picked you as our science student of the year so congratulations and um, we know you're going to go on to do great things and we're really proud of you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Presented by Mrs. Mueller, the Social Studies Department Student of the Year is Jack Frentz. Good morning. This year's Social Studies Department Student of the Year is Jack Frentz. I had the pleasure of teaching Jack his freshman year alongside uh, Mr. West in our Global Studies class. And aside from his success as, an, as a scholar, as an academic, what stood out more to me and Mr. West was his ability to work and help others. Um, he was extremely patient working with students that you know struggled in their in their schoolwork um, and Mr. West and I would always joke that like having Jack in the classroom at times felt like having a third teacher um, because anytime he was paired up or was doing group work we knew that we could count on him to um, help us help students that, that need the extra help and also just to be a good leader and, and make sure that the group or a partner that he's working with continues to move along. Um, that's what really stood out to me and has stayed with me these last four years. And, um, I remember a, a conversation that I had with them they were selecting class, the classes for their sophomore year. Um, I told Jack I wanted to recommend him for AP Euro, and at first he was he hesitant, but I was super excited to see that he took the recommendation and actually has continued on to continue to take uh, AP classes the rest of his high school career and social studies career. Um, and I've heard nothing but great things from the teachers that have had him after me. Um, and that just speaks to the type of person that he is and his willingness to accept the challenge. Um, he's hesitant about taking AP and then he goes off and takes it for the rest of his high school career. Um, I wish Jack nothing but success um, and you know, good luck in any future endeavors. I look forward to hearing about all the things that he will accomplish. Not only did Jack choose to challenge himself academically by stepping up to try AP classes, but he is deserving of the Social Studies Student of the Year Award because of his leadership, natural curiosity, and go-getter attitude. In my AP Gov class this year, Jack illustrated what it meant to be an exemplary student. He added value to our classroom environment by engaging himself in learning and supporting others in their learning. He was always respectful of others' level of comfortability with the content and of their opinions. Jack strived to be the best version of himself by asking how to improve on his writing and working hard to understand difficult topics regarding government and politics. During class discussions, his natural curiosity deepen the content of the topic we were talking about, including those on media and civil rights. Jack also served as my student aide in my later AP government section. So not only was he willing to sit through AP government twice, but he was also willing to start up any project that I put in front of him. This included making a government fun facts bulletin board and organizing my many classroom materials. Every day, I could count on Jack to have a smile on his face and to make me laugh. Like when he played Nancy Pelosi as Speaker of the House during our Congress simulation, or when he shared his love for President Jimmy Carter, or talked about his Hobbit Town village from Adventure Head. Throughout our time of e-learning, Jack has shown up to every Zoom meeting and completed.
completed his assignments with the same enthusiasm that he had when we were actually in class. With his go-getter attitude and passion for learning, Jack has a bright future ahead of him. Myself and the Social Studies Department are thankful and proud of his efforts and contributions to the courses that he took with us throughout his years at Lakes. I've already missed you seeing around, Jack. Best of luck to you next year. Up next, we have the World Language Department Students of the Year, presented by Ms. Balser. For German, the recipient is Emma Kesser. For Spanish, the recipient is Bella Vrapchu. Congratulations, Emma, being the Lakes Community High School German Program Student of the Year. So for several reasons, we wanted to nominate and recognize Emma for her outstanding achievements in German. Uh, first of all, she just has great all-around skills in German class, reading, writing, listening, speaking, vocab, grammar, ability to work with people. You know, she's just a solid student all the way around. Um, another thing that we really find to be really excellent is that she always looks at everything as a learning opportunity. Uh, it seems like no, no activity goes without Emma trying to figure out how she's gonna utilize that and learn from other students to really uh, grow and and further her skills. On top of that, um, she's really not afraid to take chances and take risks. Now, that's something that I can't really say for everybody because there are a lot of times where we have to be really vulnerable and say, hey, Rusk, could you read this or tell me what you think about this or listen to this? And it might be a 15 minute rambling of things that you did. And, and when you do stuff like that, uh, it really shows that you're that you're looking for that that pure, honest reason to learn, and so I have a lot of uh, respect and admiration for Emma's ability to take those risks, and uh, and it's it's really something to behold. Uh, another thing that I'd like to thank her on and uh, congratulate her for is um, all the different feedback that she's given as you know as we've done this AP German distance learning thing for the first time. She's given me a lot of really good, honest feedback that's helped me and helped the class to um, to work well and uh, and I'm really thankful for that because that's it's hard to get really good feedback and when people are are willing to tell you the the actual thoughts of what they have running through the brain of, of what could I do better um, you know so Emma thank you for all that you've done for the germ program and to help make the germ program strong I'm very proud of you uh, congratulations and I wish you all the best as you move on after Lakes Community High School. It is with great pleasure that I present Bella Vrapshu as the 2020 Spanish Student of the Year. I was fortunate to have Bella as a student her freshman year as well as her senior year, and I've gotten to know her very well as a hardworking, conscientious student, as well as an overall wonderful individual. Right from the start of the year, I knew Bella would be a top contender for this award. She showcased her passion for Spanish daily by actively participating in each activity and speaking Spanish with her peers and me every chance she had. She also continually demonstrated the value she placed on actually acquiring and having full command of the language itself. She used every possible opportunity to ask me specific questions and clarify how to correct her mistakes. Bella made a conscious effort each and every day to learn as much Spanish as she could, and it has been absolutely amazing to witness her grow and improve. Aside from being a stellar Spanish student, Bella is also overall just delightful. On a regular basis throughout the year, Bella would come talk to me before or after class about her most recent Spanish speaking endeavors or the latest songs that she added to her Latin music playlist. She brightened up our generally tired first hour class with her enthusiasm and eagerness to learn. Even when Bella felt tired or stressed herself, she always came to class committed to contribute to a positive environment. I am so sad to see Bella leaving Lakes, but I am also filled with excitement to see all that she accomplishes in life. Brena, fue un placer conocerte y te deseo lo mejor. Gracias por todo lo que me has enseñado a mí. I will miss you. Congratulations to all the department outstanding students. Lake Student Media has put together a video featuring pictures of the senior class. Please sit back and enjoy the memories.
Dear class of 2020, I know this isn't the way we envisioned it. The perfect ending that we had been looking forward to has changed. To look back on our whole school careers, we were born in the brink of 9-11. We were toddlers when mega companies like YouTube first began. We went to middle school when the Boston Marathon bombing happened. We entered high school when mass shootings became normalized. With every hardship, we push through and stay positive. I've made the most amazing memories with my best friends. I've made memories that I'm going to cherish forever. I have made many different friendships that I will cherish and remember for a lifetime. I have accomplished my high school goals. Along with you. Our senior year that we have been looking forward to for years has been taken away from us. We have lost many major league games. Our spring sports. Our senior prom. Senior ditch day. Our final weeks of senior year will be remembered in quarantine. But we will still make amazing memories. We will be stronger. We will overcome this obstacle. We are the future CEOs. Future doctors. Future teachers. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry we probably won't be able to walk across the stage at graduation. I'm sorry that we won't get the Six Flags grad night. Or get our senior prom. Or bless congratulations by Post Malone after the final bell on the last day of school. Or pull a senior prank. I'm sorry we won't be late to first hour anymore for morning traffic or getting coffee. In this time of confusion and mourning, let's not forget we 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 are we are we are the class of the class class of class of 2020 of 2020 we are the class 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 of 2020. Once again, thank you Lake Student Media for your hard work to remember this year's senior class. To conclude today's program, I would like to thank all of our Eagles for making Lakes a place for all students to be proud of. Although we are faced with challenging times, we know that we will persevere. Go Eagles!